Well, hello there on this Friday evening. It's full moon, Mars closest approach night, and I'm probably a good hour away before I'll be able to see the moon, but not much can be seen in the sky right now. There's Jupiter would be in that direction somewhere. <laughs> Saturn over on the other side. So we're either dodging clouds or trees. He's gonna run the damn lawnmower, I swear. The sun set about 15 minutes ago. Yep, there he goes. Oh, I love you, buddy, but damn. <laughs> Alrighty, since we're not getting anything with the, uh, any flybys of a space station. There's Jupiter over there in the west, and... Wow. I'm quite surprised to see where Jupiter is. Okay, there's our willow tree for reference, and it's way over there. Pretty high up in the sky too. Okay, so down there in the lower left, that should be the stars of Libra. And tonight I can only see two, possibly three moons of Jupiter. About the seven o'clock position, there might be one there. But I'm not positive. I can't see the fourth. And again, I forgot to check the app before I came out to see where they're all situated. Yeah, it's got to be one of the moons there. It's in a little bit better. Oh, I keep wondering why I can't zoom in any further, but I don't have the teleconverter on again. Oh, the lawnmowers are so irritating, I swear. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But so far, the only things I can see out here is uh, Venus and Jupiter. The southeastern sky is mucked up with clouds that have parked their ass over there. But I will do a crop zoom on Jupiter and see if it comes in crappy, or I think it will be crappy. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. While we're over here, let's... Uh... There's a cloud system I was talking about that's over in the southeast where the full moon and our orange partner, Mars, will be coming up. So it's 9.22 p.m. Now I'll try to get some pictures and hope to be back. Alrighty. Okay, and there we have the full moon rising. It's now 9.31 p.m. And it's probably up about, oh, six, seven degrees above the horizon. And Mars should be about at its four o'clock, five o'clock position. So it won't be until later tonight before I'll be able to get it. It's got a ways to climb yet. So there's the moon in the southeast. And right there, we have Saturn. I'm going to have to move us a bit, though. Okay, again, I don't have the 2X converter on, so that's as big as we can get Saturn in. But we'll let it rise a bit, and we'll go back to the moon. So, hello there. On this Friday evening, it's the day of the lunar eclipse that was seen over across the Great Pond, but over here in North America and Central America, we missed out on it, but we do have a full moon rising and uh, Mars, which is supposed to be, so they say, the closest to the Earth, and I'm talking about this as I'm zeroed in on Saturn, <laughs> but I have such difficulty getting Saturn uh, at this time of night because 
of the trees, but each night it moves further and further to the right, so I've got it right in between those trees now. There, I know it's a grainy image, but we can see Saturn up there. Uh, we can see Saturn right there and the moon down below over with the clouds and doggone it a pixel went out on my uh, monitor here this very expensive monitor and it's so distracting I keep thinking it's a orange star <laughs> fuck ah that's a bummer I kept hoping it was just a speck of something but I'm out here trying to wipe it off to no avail. Anyway, okay, so Moon and Mars down there, Saturn, Willow Tree for reference, and Jupiter. Oh my god, that missing pixel is so distracting. My goodness. It's showing up about the same size as the planets are and stars. All right, so I have a bit of a wait here, so maybe I'll go back to some pictures. So to my eye, it's just yellow. I'm trying to get the settings right so we can see the colors that I'm seeing by eye. Alrighty, so there we have the Nikon P900. And still a treed full moon. <laughs> of course, no sign of Mars yet because it's. And I have a feeling the glare of the moon's going to really wash out how how bright uh, Mars is. Let's see. It's 9:46 p.m. So far, I think we have an hour's worth of footage, which. <laughs> Most of it was just waiting for a damn space station to go by, which never did. But we did get some of Jupiter, Saturn, now the full moon rising. Alrighty, there we got it. And on the Nikon. Still in the trees, but it's getting there. <laughs> Inching up. Let's see if he does a jig tonight. <laughs> oh, that was crazy the other night. the other camera has a better view. There we go. Yeah, it's quite uh, yellow tonight. Flyby, probably a bat or something. But let's go out so we can get it full view. Full moon rising. <laughs> and as many of you already know, I really don't like getting the full moon only because it just uh, looks so flat you really can't see the detail the depth of the craters and stuff like that but there's nothing wrong with the full moon it's just filming wise it just looks so blase
that damn red pixel. I swear, I thought, oh, there's Mars. Yay. That is an issue for me. I'm going to relocate because I do see it. So there they are. Okay, so there's our dusty buddy. Boy, the shape of it looks uh, kind of odd. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of a, I don't know why, it just doesn't look like the uh, normal shape, the more rounded uh, shape, this, I don't know, looks more elongated, doesn't it? It's 10 p.m. now, and I'd like to get some pictures of these guys before I have tree issues again. <laughs> well, that's going to do it on this Friday evening, so I'm going to wish you all a wonderful weekend ahead, and I hope you're all doing well. Take care, and good night now.